If you've ever wondered whether receiving a fixed penalty notice could affect your visa status, you've come to the right place. In the UK, a fixed penalty notice is a notice of a fine that is primarily issued by the police for minor road offences. It's a way of dealing with these offences without having to go to court. By accepting and paying the fixed penalty notice, the offending driver can avoid prosecution. When it comes to visa applications, it's important to be transparent and provide accurate information. Therefore, if you have received a fixed penalty notice and are asked about it on your visa application, you should declare it. Failure to disclose any information, including a fixed penalty notice, can result in rejection, even if you simply forgot to mention it. So, will a fixed penalty notice affect your visa application? The answer depends on your specific circumstances. If you received a fixed penalty notice and promptly paid the fine, it's unlikely to have any bearing on your visa outcome. This applies to various types of visas, including settlement visas. However, if you rejected the fixed penalty notice and decided to challenge the case in court, but you lost, it could have a negative impact on your visa application. Similarly, if you've received multiple fixed penalty notices within a short period, it may indicate a disregard for UK law, and this could also negatively affect your visa decision. Even if you paid each fixed penalty notice in full and on time, the pattern of repeated offences might raise concerns. Now let's touch upon another common concern, the impact of UK debt on a visa application. While debt on its own will rarely lead to the rejection of a UK short-term or indefinite leave to remain visa, it could contribute to other factors that might cause a visa to be rejected. If you're someone with UK debts and wish to come and stay in the UK, there's no need to be overly worried. However, it's always best to seek personalised immigration advice to understand your specific situation better. If you need individual legal advice, then speaking to a solicitor can be invaluable. These days, there's many online solicitors that can work out cheaper and easier than meeting in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial, which could be far less than a traditional in-person appointment. One of my colleagues used their service and saved over £270 on an outstanding parking ticket. I've linked that offer in the description below, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting MoneyNerd. So thank you.